John Burton says, I'm worried that software for room analysis is so expensive with smart currently being around a thousand dollars. Are there any cheaper bits of software that you would recommend for younger engineers or even older engineers like myself who just can't justify the expense? I've used SpectraFu for many years, but it's not been updated for a very long time. Uh, I've been looking at fuzz measure. It looks promising. How would you rate it? And then he gives me the URL here. So before I say anything about that, um, let's do a quick poll. So I'm going to publish this now. Uh, and I think you can just click on the screen. Which if any of the, which of any of these audio analyzers um, do you use? Uh, and I just put a, a few on there that I thought maybe most people use smart sat live RumiQ wizard and then any other. So click on that poll and I'll be able to see uh, what the results are. And while you're doing that, let's see where Sheffield is. All right, it's way up here. So probably take more than 30 hours to drive there. Cool, that's Sheffield. <laughs> I haven't been to Sheffield either. I guess I should visit. All right, let's see what the poll says. So 67% use Smart, 17% use RumiQ Wizard, and 17% use Other. What's interesting for me about this poll, John, if you're watching this later, is that 17% um, of the people watching use a free audio analyzer, right? And maybe they also use Smart. Um, why would they do that? Um, we were just talking about Pat Brown. Pat Brown recommends that everyone has at least two audio analyzers. And he said that for a long time, he really wanted to just use one. And he was always asking the software manufacturers, please include this feature and this feature and this feature. Well, um, instead of expecting one piece of software to do everything for you, it's probably better to have two. Um, and then not only can you verify your results against these two pieces of software, but you can also get some different features that you might not be able to get one from the other. Okay, so to speak to your question though, are there any cheaper bits of software? Um, again, if you guys have ideas for John, let him know what cheaper pieces of software you think he could be using besides smart? So let's look at smart. He doesn't say how much it is. Oh, he says around $1,000, right? So the full version of smart is $995 currently. And um, so let's talk about some cheaper alternatives. So right away, if you like smart and that's kind of the workflow and platform and everything you like about it, you know you like it, then just why not use smart DI? I mean, the main thing you'll be giving up is multi microphone measurements and I don't think you're going to get I don't think you're going to get multi microphone measurements from it for anything for less than a thousand dollars anyway so uh, if you're going to take a downgrade but you know you like smart and you want something cheaper then you know go with smart di and then later on you can upgrade to smart uh, beyond that you can get even cheaper options so sat live is 297 dollars but now, if we're looking at other options, now we need to start talking about uh, how and why and what. So um, I think probably the most important feature to look at is initially just platform because that'll rule out several things. So if you are on a Mac machine, then you're not going to be able to run sat live or FIR capture or anything else that is PC only windows only unless you um, install windows on another partition or run uh, wine or something like that. And those work and I do that and I have um, parallels and that's how I run sat live. And that's how I've always done it. And I sat live is the very first audio analyzer I ever purchased and I purchased it, uh, partly because of the price 
and I already had um, Windows installed on a partition, so I was ready to go. But that would add to the price if you're going to do that, if you need to also buy Windows. I can't remember how much Windows costs. So the first thing to think about is platform. And the second major thing that um, I consider now, and the reason that I basically just have two short lists here, is that this list up here has a certain workflow and this list down here has a certain workflow. If you already know that you like the workflow of Smart, which means that you can basically turn on an audio analyzer, I mean, turn on your signal generator, turn on uh, whatever your measurement is and just let it run all day long while you move things around and look at the results and change things and look at the results. If you like that workflow, then stick with, you know, things in this list. Um, Smart lets you do that, Sat Live, uh, Open Sound Meter is the free version. The only free thing that I know of that will allow you to do that. Oh, and one more thing about platform that I forgot to mention. If, you're, if your platform is iOS and so you want to run um, something on your iPad, the only thing I know of is an app called Transfer Function from Studio 6 Digital. So you're basically locked into one thing if that's your platform. Um, and then this would be another major difference in workflow. These kinds of things like FIR capture, fuzz measure, which is the one that you mentioned, uh, Room EQ Wizard, and Rita all pretty much want you to do this kind of workflow where you take one, take a single, or take, a, take one measurement at a time, basically, uh, with very high signal to noise ratio. So you've got a super clean measurement. And you take one of those at a time, and it could be really fast, but you can only do one at a time, and then you work on those. So uh, a lot of these things like FIR Capture and um, Room EQ Wizard then have these uh, filter banks that you can play with. So you take a measurement, and then you can practice modeling filters on top of that measurement, make a bunch of decisions without making more noise in the room, and then once you've made those, all those decisions, then potentially take another measurement. Um, so just two different styles of workflow. And so if you, this is why I'm are saying that if you already know that you like the smart workflow, uh, where you can just constantly keep measuring and this, these kinds of workflows are more about observing the results, right? And I think these kinds of workflows um, have a lot of powerful tools in there for modeling the results that, I, I don't know, it's just different, right? It could save you time. Um, it lets you do things um, out of the field so you could go and take measurements and then take them home and work, with, work on them at home, that kind of stuff. Um, that's not to say that some of these other pieces don't have those features. Stat Live has a virtual EQ. Um, uh, yeah, it has some of those uh, things that you can do offline as well. It has a uh, virtual phase adjustment. So I'm rambling a little bit, but these are my, this is my thought. Um, if I were to give a more direct answer about a cheaper piece of software. Let me say one more thing before I say that. So I, I want to recommend that you start here. Um, this is a full free course that I created called Get Started with Sound System Tuning. I'm going to put that into the comments for this post. And that's where I suggest you start because the very first lessons here are all about what microphone do I need, what um, uh, audio interface do I need, um, and should I buy, you know, which piece of software should I buy? And my whole goal here is to prove to you that you can get started today with whatever you have, okay? And I think it would be awesome if you started with a free piece of software and you have free pieces of software in both of these styles of workflow. Um, I'll just point out to you that RoomEQ Wizard has probably been around the longest in terms of these free options and it has lots of features it has a really large global community of people who use it, so you'll probably be able to find answers to any questions. Uh, the newest one is this guy, and I've done some other videos and reviews about it. And then Rita is great, and 
I haven't used the latest version of it yet, but、uh, I think they even published an English version of the manual now, which is cool. So if any of you guys want to make suggestions to John about you know whether or not you prefer、uh, any of these lower cost audio analyzers like.、Um, Sat Live Fuzz Measure, Rumi Q Wizard, Rita, Open Sound Meter. Type those for them in the in the comments and let them know. But here's what I would do if I was starting over today and I knew that I was going to spend the next like 15 years or 20 years or 30 years doing this kind of work. I would actually look at something like this, something higher cost, so and a higher initial investment. That I think then would save me money later on because, although this looks like a lot of money, I have now spent more money because I've had to buy multiple pieces of software to all do different things. So now I have Smart. I also have Smart DI. I also have Sat Live. I also have、um, FIR Creator and a couple of others that I can't think of right now. All of that adds up to more than fourteen hundred dollars. And I could have probably saved myself some money if initially I would have just gotten this. But who, who knows? When you're first starting out, how do you know whether or not you should really invest in something like this? Nobody really knows. It's hard to say, right? So there is no problem. There's really no problem in starting with something. One of these free options. Everything that you learn in RumiQ Wizard, Open Sound Meter, and Rita、um, is all going to are. I would say 75% of the things that you learn in these free pieces of software, you'll be able to translate to these paid pieces of software and these、uh, more full-featured, higher-dollar pieces of software later on. All of all these things do is deliver data to you. They take the response at a point and they show you what it is.、Um, so you want to get started as quickly as possible. Learning how to look at that data,、um, learning how to create questions and then answer them by looking at the data.、Um, so it's really getting comfortable with the data that's important, and not so much how you look at it. So if you can get started today for free, practicing looking at that data and and taking measurements. This is amazing, you know. Like I don't, none of these free options I think were available when I was starting out. Maybe RumiQ Wizard was. I didn't really、uh, know about it that much. So I think that's all I have to say. I've talked about this a lot in the past, and I have other videos about this, but I'm happy to talk about it more because I don't think there should be any reason for you to not start today. You know,、um, we're always kind of looking for excuses to not do something, either because it's too expensive, it takes too much time, I'm not smart enough, I don't have time. You know, all these things. When really you can get started today, you know, pretty quickly with probably the things that you have around the house. Okay, I've been talking a lot, so let me look at some of the comments、um, and see if there's anything anybody else wants me to talk about. Oh, so John is asking: Is anyone else using RumiQ Wizard successfully in the field?、Um, I heard that the Prodigy Tour years ago、uh, was using RumiQ Wizard in the field. Maybe John can actually tell us about that. If that's true. And I have a student who I actually talked to on a previous Q and A in a previous month that I can link to, and he uses Rumi RumiQ Wizard exclusively. So he doesn't use Smart. He doesn't use any of these other things. He only uses RumiQ Wizard. Um, and he uses all the time in the field. He does great with it. I don't even know that much about it, but he does everything that you can do as an audio analyzer with RumiQ Wizard. Yeah, so Alex is saying that he's smart and sat live. Yeah, so a lot of people are using、uh, multiple audio analyzers. Dave is saying that Sheffield's ten miles from his house.、Uh, Guy is saying that he likes Rita. Very cool.、Uh, Carlos wants me to broadcast at a louder volume. I'm not really sure how to do that. And my level over here it says that I'm already pretty close to peaking, Carlos. So 
I don't know. I'll take a look at that later. Sorry if it's not loud enough. Uh, MetaSing Tuning Capture. Yeah, so I think Tuning Capture is just a slightly cheaper version of FIR Capture with probably a few less features. Am I right, Med? So, Med, if you know how much Tuning Capture costs, maybe put that in the comments because I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, and Pedro is saying that Rumi Q Wizard updates once a month. So, Pedro, are you saying that that's a good thing or a bad thing? Because it could be a bad thing if it sort of like destabilizes the system or it could be a good thing if they're like actually helpful features or it's making it run more uh, stably somehow. Oh, Pedro is saying audio tools on iPad, iPhone is really powerful. So I think audio tools is Studio 6 Digital, right? And I think that the module that does the transfer function is called transfer function. So I think that's all the same thing. Let me know if I'm wrong. Um, cool. I think I got to all of the questions. Um, all right, if you guys are watching this later, again, please uh, put any comments on this video that you think will help out either Evan or John. I'll also put a link to the um, form to fill out if you would like me to try and answer one of your questions at one of these Q&A sessions. Otherwise, thanks for being here with me today, and I uh, hope everyone has a great week.